Are you new in the junk journal world and you want to make one but have no idea how to start? That's okay. In this video, I'm going to share my process that maybe it could help you in your process on making your beautiful, stunning, and creative junk journal. Thank you so much for staying. I'm Anna Jansi, and today in our with more, I'm going to show you my process on how to make a junk journal. And I think it's going to help you. So let's get started. So one of the things that I realized with uh, junk journals or any craft that you make, or maybe specifically junk journal, is that it's like cooking. If you have a recipe, you need all the ingredients. And then when you're cooking, maybe you're going to add a little bit of this, a little bit of that. That is the same concept in my perspective with uh, making a junk journal. So the first thing that I do is to grab my notebook, <laughs> any notebook you have or paper or whatever, and start making a list kind of a list of what you want in your junk journal. But the first, first thing that I do is to think about the cover. The cover, in my opinion, is going to give you the theme of what that junk journal is going to be. Okay. So for example, in this junk journal that I'm going to make, I decided to use jeans. Somehow, I'm going to use, <clears throat> sorry, I'm going to use a blue jean and um, I already think that I'm going to use this as the cover and this is going to be the back and I am thinking that I'm going to use because I want an inside fabric as well and I love this fabric. So I am going to use um, this one as an inside. At least I have what I want for my cover. Now, after you know what you want for your cover, then in my case, I kind of think what represents that cover. For example, blue jeans for me represents relax, joy, adventure, um, happiness because you're comfortable. Uh, what else? Freedom. So that, in my case, that, what, that is what represents blue jeans. So my theme is going to go like that, okay? So after you decide what kind of cover you're going to add to the journal, I think the best thing to go is that to choose what, how many signatures you want. If you're new in the junk journal, signatures are just uh, pages. They're a fold, and they're gonna be um, they're gonna be part of your journal. I'm gonna link here uh, exactly what signatures mean, but it's just the the papers fold that are gonna be inside your journal. So you can decide how many signatures you want. I will do this one with three signatures and deciding the signatures you decide the size the size of the spine of the journal and then you decide the measurements okay so that is very important to know for example in my opinion i already know that i want three signatures so i'm going to do maybe a four and a half inch let's see a ruler maybe i'm going to do a four Maybe I'm going to do a four. This as a spine. Why? Because the first journal I made, which is the spring journal, actually is still available. You can contact me directly to my email, artwithmore at gmail.com, and I receive all type of payment, including PayPal. So in that journal, that was my first journal ever to make. And actually, this is going to be the second one. I did, I think, a two and a half or three. And it was too small. 
It was small because you think you're not going to include a lot of stuff in the journal, but you're going to. <laughs> and when you start your process and you start having that creativity and you start including stuff, then your journal is going to be very thick. Not super thick, but I mean, you decide what kind of thickness you want. But I think in order for me to be free of what I want to do and what I want to include, I am going to do it four inches. So then that you just, oh, and, and another thing that I want to mention, you can decide the cover, like how, how tall and wide it's going to be. But because I want to use this one as a cover, I need to measure what I'm going to do to know exactly the boards that I need or the cardboard that I need to make the cover. And we're going to talk about that. Don't, it's okay. <laughs> Now we're just, you know, like trying to figure out the recipe of our cooking. <laughs> so, okay, so you have your signatures, you have your design, your cover design, which is the most important thing. And then um, you want to know what kind of material you want to insert in your journal. For example, I want, of course, paper, and this I found it in Dollar Tree. I think it was last year. I haven't seen it anymore. And it's jeans. It's this three designs. It's super cute. And of course, I had a, I have not had the chance to use it before. So now because I'm making my journal as, a, as um, with blue jean, I am going to look at this. So stunning. I'm going to use this paper. Okay. The other thing that um, that you want to. Okay. So let's. Because you know how I am, like a little distracted, but let's go step by step. So let's make a little summary. So the first is the cover. The second is the signatures. The third is to, to know the size at least of the spine. Okay. Then is what inspire you or what represents that cover. Okay. And now we're going to make like a list. I do a very, you know, brainstorm and then I said, okay, uh, what I want in, in like, for example, in my cover, I wrote down that I want pockets, I want ringstones because I want a little bling bling, I want application, well, ringstone applications, I want some pull top flowers, remember the, let me see if I have some here. The small pull top flowers. Actually, I have a video on how to make these flowers. I'm going to add uh, the video in the description box below. So I think I'm going to add the small flowers. I have done a big flower like this one, and I do have a video as well, a tutorial step by step. But I think I'm going to use, I'm going to put some, um, some of the small one. And again, this doesn't mean that you're going to change uh, or you're going to add stuff for your journal. But at least if you have something in my life, for example, in my case, I'm going to explain to you how my brain, crazy brain works. <laughs> so I am, I don't know, I'm in bed or I'm watching TV or I am cooking and suddenly it comes something that I want to add to my journal. So I have my little notebook somewhere and I just write down what I want to add. Why? Because I know I'm going to forget afterwards. I'm going to forget what I thought I want to include in the journal. So that is type of like my process. Okay. So, all right. So I said I want some flower, some pull top flowers, and uh, I don't know what else I'm going to add, but at least because the piece is going to show you, I know it sounds crazy, but the piece is going to show you what it needs. <laughs> I, think, I, I mean, if you're like me, that you think like that and your creative mind is like that, it's just it, it the material speaks to you, at least to me. OK, so that's the cover. The back cover, you can decorate it as well. I normally don't decorate it too heavy because normally you grab it and you put it in the tables and this and that. So I leave it as um, as plain as possible. So that's why I think. I am going to use the back part of the jean as the back um, as the back, back cover of the journal. And actually, I'm going to leave the pockets just in case you want to add something there. I don't know. I think it's going to be beautiful. <laughs> I 
let's see, you're going to be with me in the whole journey. I think this video, this tutorial is going to be three steps or three, um, three tutorials or three phases. I don't know how to call it. This first one is how to kind of put the ingredients together for the cooking. <laughs> the second one is going to be how to build or how I build um, the cover and how I add the texture, the, the fabric to the cover. And maybe we can do the signatures in that video. And then the third video is going to be decoration and insert, like um, binding, which is called binding. Okay. And I'm saying that because a lot of people I have seen that they bind and then they decorate. I try to do that, but I think it's easier if you decorate when you have the papers um, not bind because you cannot really move the papers and you're going to see, you're going to see, and then you decide if you want to do it before or after it's up to you. Okay. So I know for the inside, of course, you're going to have, what do you want for that theme? You want it to be joyful, right? So all your signatures and all the papers that you're going to use is going to be with, or at least I think it's going to be with color, a lot of color, maybe some soft color as well, like pastel color, because I'm going to use calendar. And we're going to talk about that. This is the calendar that I found in Dollar Tree this year. If you're watching this video in 2023, right now it's what, August? You have to run to Dollar Tree to find this calendar. This is the mini calendar that comes with the big calendar where I'm going to show you right now. And those calendars are gorgeous. I... Look at this. And you're going to see how I use this. Look at the back. Isn't this good? Look, look at that. So this, I use it as uh, hidden paper clips or even little, um, little, how you call that? Like little tags that you can uh, decorate your, your journal inside. And the big pages, I fold them and I put it inside the pockets of the journal. And we're going to talk about that. No worries. <laughs> no worries. No worries that we're going to do this together. <laughs> All right. So another thing that I wrote down is that I want zippers because jeans for me represent zippers. So I'm going to go. I just found this one, but I know that I have blue. I have different zippers. And I am going to somehow incorporate zippers inside my signature. How? I don't know, but we're going to figure it out. Okay. Uh, of course, I'm going to use fabric, uh, type of paper. You can use any type of paper that you want. If you don't have paper like this one, the, that stack there is my um, scrapbooking paper. or the, I think there's called designer paper. If you don't have that, no worries. You can use white paper paper and I'm going to show you because I'm going to incorporate white paper I'm going to show you how you can bring to life that white paper okay so don't worry if you are just starting and you want to just try to see if it's something that you like don't go out there and buy stuff you have I bet that you have a lot of things in your house that you can use for the junk journal that's why I think it's called junk journal because it's everything that you have around and you put it inside, like inside your journal. Like for example, look at this. Normally, this will be to the trash. This is pull tops, aluminum pull tops, the little thing that you have in the can that you open it. And uh, I use it. This particular one is a keychain or it could be a charm. And actually, we're going to use this in the journal. So, so no worries if you don't have fancy stuff or papers or notepad like that ones or even this ones okay actually you always can go to Dollar Tree and buy one or two paper but you don't need it okay all right so the other thing is that I like doilies and I do have some doilies that I have purchased in Dollar Tree I have hearts I have the brown ones I have some the ones square ones so I love to incorporate doily, doilies sorry, in my journal. Like for example, I love it as a pocket. These are doilies. So I love to incorporate um, this. 
By the way, this is plastic. We're going to use this in, in this journal. And this is plastic with napkins from Dollar Tree. I do have a video how you can make this technique or do this technique. Um, and I'm going to add it in the description box below. And we're going to talk about this because I want this to be an insert in our journal. All right. So, uh, of course, I'm going to add stickers. You see that there? I love stickers. So, stickers, um, pockets with play card. I love play cards. I like the jumbo ones, jumbo, jumbo. <laughs> the big ones, I want this. I like the small ones. And in my head, I have an idea to make like um, like this. How do you call this? Uh, I'm going to write here in English. <laughs> I want to do something like this with the cards and do it as a pocket. Oh, this is good. It's super hot. I'm in Kennesaw, Georgia, and it's super hot. So, so I put this in hand <laughs> just in case I have my little flushes. You know, you know what I mean? <laughs> hot flushes. Anyway, so I am going to do that. The other thing that I want to do is a hidden paper clip. And again, one of the things that I do with this part of the calendar is that I add them as hidden paper clip. I think it's gorgeous, I think it's beautiful, and uh, I do that a lot. I think it's, and, and they're so, I'm trying to see if I have one here. Um, they're so easy to make, and you can be as creative as you want. Okay, so, yeah, stencils. If you have stencils, you can use them. And actually, I recommend stencils when you're using white paper because you can decorate your papers, like the background of your paper, you can decorate with stencils. So that's something good. Again, you can find in Dollar Tree. And actually, you can find it in a store that is new to me. And I am so lucky that I have it. I'm in Georgia. Um, yeah, Kennesaw, Georgia, I said, but I'm in Georgia. And uh, there's a store called Pop Shelf they have things at a dollar and actually that store i have a tutorial another tutorial i have um uh, like a haul that i did for for that store and i was amazed i was amazed of how clean they are how organized they are the quality of the product that they have and they have a lot of the craft that dollar tree has a dollar 25 they have it at a dollar so if you um, if you have one in your area, please go and and check it out. All right. All that is to say that you can find uh, materials for the junk for your junk journal uh, a very cheap or very affordable. Let's not say cheap. Let's say affordable. <laughs> All right. Ribbons. Love ribbons. I use a lot of ribbons and I use uh, a lot of ribbon with my sewing machine. If you don't have a sewing machine, you can use it with glue. This is an example of the plastic that um, I told you that I have a tutorial and this is a ribbon. It gives that, um, it gives the feeling of the texture. I am very sensitive and with touching, I don't know how you call that in English, but um, I like the difference of texture and the, every time I touch something, something, if it has a lot of texture, I, I really like it. I enjoy it. So all, all my, um, the small journals that I have made, this is going to be the, the big second one that I made. They have a lot of stuff that you can touch. They're different textures. Okay. So ribbon. This is going to be maybe a long one because this is creativity. <laughs> and uh, um, if you don't know me, and if you know me, and maybe I have not said it, sometimes I repeat things because I am a little, and I have to confess it because I guess if somebody has been, have been seeing all my videos for this year, you have to know that I repeat words and sometimes I repeat things three times. I the confession is that I do have some OCD and I have um, all and, and I also have ADD. I, I get distracted very easily. And I'm going to make a pause here because <clears throat> if I'm talking about this, I want to share with you something because maybe you feel like me or you are like me. 
in my time, I'm going to be 50 in November. So, <laughs> but in my time, you don't have, and, and I'm from, from, uh, I'm from South America. I'm from Venezuela. So in my time, you didn't have all this labels and tags and names and all that. And, um, my family and my mother and all that, it was just like, oh, you know, she's, she just get distracted very easily. Um, and she gets bored very easily is because just, you know, she's, uh, but I was not hyper. So I had difficulties on staying focused on something. So my mom always say that every time that we do, we made homeworks or stuff, I get distracted. And then she, you know, took me back to, okay, let's continue with the homework. So I have been dealing with this my whole life. And I didn't really know. I knew that I get bored very easily, very easily easily with everything like and it's bad because in jobs I get bored um if I I need like a challenge all the time and uh, apparently that's part of you know the OCD that now is called OCD there are different types of OCD <laughs> and uh, the other thing that uh, happened to me well OCD or ADD get distracted very easily so that's part of the ADD. Uh, and the OCD is because uh, I'm very organized. Um, it, actually, I cannot function. My brain cannot function if, if I see things disorganized. Like, for example, in my kitchen, every single um, item that we have in the refrigerator or in the covers, the label has to be in the front. Because I said, well, if there has a label, why you don't put it in the front? And things like that. <laughs> I don't want to get into it, but the thing is that I want to explain a little bit uh, uh, what is and um, with the OC with the OCD. When I get excited about something, even if I know that I'm doing it, I repeat things three times. I know, and I try to stop myself because now I'm conscious of what I'm doing, and somehow my brain say it again in a different way. <laughs> so it's like. So, and all that to say to you, if you're like me or you have, I don't know, something similar that you have deal all your life, try to find an activity to make you focus. This has helped me a lot. This has been the only activity that I can really tell you. I have stick with it. I like it. I am excited to do it every day and uh, when I'm working with um, a craft or an activity, yeah, craft activity, I'm very focused. So that helps me a lot because when you're not focused and when you get distracted, um, your productivity is not really good because it's kind of like if I, if I stop here for a minute and I go, uh, I don't know, to the bathroom or to the kitchen and in the middle of the way, something grabs my attention. I am going to get distracted. I'm going to do that something. And then I can forget what I was going to do or I just waste time. So just in case you are like me or uh, you feel that you have this distraction thing, try an activity. I'm not telling you to try the junk journal or the craft, any other activity that you want, even walking, whatever. But for me, the craft has been the best thing ever. Okay, so I put it out there. <laughs> so now let's get back to uh, what we need. Okay, so we talk about rims already. Okay, Canva. I like, and I think I have back here where my little uh, gnome is. I make um, signatures with canvas. You know, the painting canvas, the canvas that um, yeah, that you find, you can find in Dollar Tree, you can find in anywhere. I discontract them, I take them out of the frame, and I make a, a well, I'm going to show you. I just have to grab it. Okay, paper clips. I love paper clips. I have a lot of paper clips. All the sizes, all that, they're small, little, I love paper clips. I love everything that is stationary. 
Okay, um, I want inside pockets. So I know that whatever I do in the signature, I want inside pockets, envelopes. You can hinge the envelopes, which is like putting them something like this, this, so you can open. And I'm gonna show you how to do that part. Um, I want a zigzag, the inserts, I want something like this. This is, of course, not that thick because this is a unique piece, but I want a zigzag um, a piece inside my journal. And I also want a mini fold journal. I have a tutorial on how to make this. These are so cute and very easy to make. You have a pocket here. You can add a signature here. You have a pocket here. And then you have another a slide in. Well, I didn't glue it, but you have a slide in. Or you can leave it like that because the pocket is up. Let's see. Let's see if I'm opening correctly. Whew, I'm having the hot thing. Gosh. I have not asked you how are you today? Now that we have this little short time because I am sweating. <laughs> how are you today? How are you feeling? Are you feeling good? Not so good? If you're feeling good, embrace it. Because happiness is just minutes moments seconds of your life and if you're feeling good just do the things that you could feel that you feel good now if you're feeling sad or a little bit down what i do because i do feel sad sometimes and bad and down i embrace it i feel it i cry it if i have to cry it i scream it if i have to scream it and then I move forward, I try to change my mindset and put a piece of music that you like or watch a movie that you like and that's going to change your mindset because remember life is too short so just, you know, go with the flow. <laughs> Alright, so I was opening correct because this is the idea. When you open it like this, you have the pocket here then you have a signature, and this is a pocket. Let me show you. Let me show you. So this is a pocket, see? There you go. <laughs> okay, so I have the insert. I want um, notepads. I want to make some uh, notepads. I have a tutorial too about how to make this. These are so cute. You can make puzzles, you can make circles, you can make anything you want. Uh, you can check out the tutorials very fast as a step-by-step -step, and actually um, you can make any shape or form that you want. I made puzzles because I thought it was, it was cute. And actually I'm gonna add this because it's joyful. Jeans are joyful. All right, cascade paper. I want some cascade paper. I like the cascade paper uh, or fold because you can write a lot and it doesn't get too thick in your journal. Uh, resin charms. I, if you have not seen my videos, I work with resin as well. Oh, sorry about the noise. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I have here my, and uh, I make, you know, things like this. This is a big heart. So I want to incorporate, I know, look at this, this is beautiful. I want to incorporate something like this. These are the little charms that I make. This one's, I make it with um, uh, UV resin. I didn't use the, the epoxy resin. And with the paper clips that I, I mentioned that I want to add, I think I mentioned that, right? I did. I make I make this paper clips and I want to add this. This is the perfect journal to to make this. This is very easy if you have UV resin. Um, I do have a tutorial on how to how to add UV resin. I was trying to find something, but I think I, I sold it already. Um, how to add UV resin to your paper clips? And actually, you can make charms like this, just like the heart. And then in the back, so it sticks really well, you just put UV resin, okay? That's the secret. At least for me, it works and it never, it's never gonna take out because if you put glue, maybe, it, you know, you can have a little accident. <laughs> so yeah, so I want to add that too. And of course, 
Oh, the wooden, the wooden, um, this little things. You can find it in Dollar Tree, or you can find it maybe around your house. Your house, you have some. And if you don't have any of this, start with uh, the white paper. Start looking around your house. What do you have? Like for example, uh, boxes. Um, uh, a calendar. You have to have a calendar. A calendar that is old. We're gonna work with it. Um, thread. Like for example, I told you that I want to use doilies and I want to thread the doilies. I'm going to show you how to do that. So I choose, I put everything in, in my table and I choose to thread the colors that I want. This is spectacular. It's, I love it. That's so, <laughs> I love it because it's a mixed color. And, uh, of course, if you don't know, I love blue. So now is my opportunity because it's a blue jean to work with blue. And I chose this um, cotton, I think they're cotton, yeah, thread to um, decor my doilies, my hair. Uh, yeah, so decor my doilies uh, because I like to um, thread them. I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, the other thing that I want to do, I want to make the inserts of this one. Remember that we made this one. I have a tutorial on how to... Let me see if I'm opening it correctly. Yeah. On how to make this uh, little pockets. They are super cute. Actually, you can, it's very easy. And this is made, this is a pocket here, a pocket here, and a pocket here. And you can make this with your the whole paper 12 by 12 if you have it. Okay. So I want to include that here. So this is just an idea to, to, uh, to kind of know what you want to put in and write it down. I am writing it down like crazy. It, this is like a brainstorm thingy. So I write it down and I said, like, for example, I want to add like here in this little thingy. I said, I want to add some jean fabric ruffle into like between the signatures. How I'm going to do that? I don't know. Because sometimes if you see other videos, you see the signatures and there is a separation between them. I don't like that. So I somehow, in this journal, I'm going to include um, the ruffles. And um, the plastic. Look at this. I think I'm going to include this as, I'm going to include this as, a, as, a, um, as part of the signature. So this is plastic. You can use, there is um, Natasha from Treasure Book. I saw her do this. She made this technique with um, with the linen and the lining, lining, I think it's called, of the cereal box, inside the cereal box. And I started to do that, but we don't have a lot of cereal here. We don't need that much cereal, but we do order a lot of stuff. And we order, uh, I think it was the furniture and the plastic. Uh, I use it and I start to play with it and it's perfect. So you, if you have plastic, you can use it and actually I like it I have this one I made this one these are from Dollar Tree by the way this one too is napkin from and I have more but uh, I think the video has been too long <laughs> and I don't want to get I don't want to bore, 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 bore you with me talking this it's a beauty if you know how to crochet and you have some pull tops, make this. You're gonna be so happy. This is a mini journal. I have a tutorial as well. I'm gonna link it in the description box below. This is a, a mini journal. Look how beautiful. This is a nylon thread. And I made a little journal. And you're gonna say, well, Anna Jansi, what I'm gonna use with that? Well, this could be, I always give little surprises with my journal. So somebody buy my journal is going to have a lot of little surprises. So this could be some of them. Okay. So I think this has been long, <laughs> but I wanted to show you some of the things. I mean, you can have, you know, some of the things that you can do. So just to recap, um, try to put in a piece of paper. What do you want? I'm going to add in the description box below a list of what I do. 
um, what I was talking about in here. Maybe I went back and forth. So you don't remember what is step one, step two, step three. And it doesn't have to be step one, step two, step three. But it helps you how to, um, how to put together your journal. Okay. So this is going to be, there's going to be a next video. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. I hope some of the things that I said help you <laughs> and inspire you to, uh, to make your first journal, junk journal. You're going to enjoy it. You're really going to enjoy it. When I discovered this world of junk journal, I said, OMG, I mean, oh, wow. And I really like it. It had, me, it had helped me personally. And it had helped me with, you know, all the things that happen in life. Because when I am creating and when I'm in my world and paper and when all this, I am happy. And that's important. Okay. So if you like this video, please don't, so don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you don't like it. It's okay. Tell me if you like it. Tell me whatever you want to tell me and to express. Tell me. I read every single comments that all of you um, have written. I answer them. I love them. And uh, this is my passion and I am sharing my passion with you because I want you to find something that makes you happy. And if this is one of the things, let's do this together. Okay, so see you in the next tutorial of following up this um, construction of your junk journal. Be happy. Choose whatever it is. Do whatever it is that make you happy and big kiss. See you next video. Okay. Thank <laughs> you.